Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to The Simple Way. Today, I'm going to show you how to make chicken and sausage gumbo. Okay, this is going to be so good, so easy. So if you love gumbo, you are going to love this recipe. Let's just jump, jump right into it. Okay, so let's start with our ingredients. Okay, I'm using two pounds of red Argentine shrimp, eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs, two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning, five andouille sausages, two tablespoons of chicken flavored bouillon powder, and five bay leaves. I know you see three, but I use five. Five and three quarter tablespoons of gumbo filet, eight cups of low sodium chicken broth, okay, eight cups. I'm using one cup of chopped parsley, three celery stalks diced. I'm not going to use the ends of the stalks because they tend to be bitter. One green bell pepper diced, one ye yellow onion diced, and five garlic cloves sliced. I'm also going to use two cups of canola oil and two cups of all-purpose flour and four cups of frozen okra. So let's start by seasoning the chicken and the shrimp. You can use any type of shrimp. You do not have to use red Argentine, okay? For your chicken thighs, make sure that you have cleaned, dried them off, and you also want to chop up your chicken, okay? We're going to add one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning to the chicken and one tablespoon to the shrimp and mix it up. Add a small amount of oil to a large pot Add in your sausages on a medium high heat. And we're just going to brown this for about four and a half to five minutes, okay? We want to get some pan drippings on the bottom of our pot. So this is why we are browning the meat. Okay, so after you, re you remove your sausages, add all eight of those chicken thighs down in there. You're just going to brown this. This should take only about five minutes. Remove the chicken. So now drop your heat down a little bit. Okay, we started out at medium high, drop it down a little bit to like medium low. We're just going to sweat the vegetables. This should only take about three minutes. Okay, then remove your vegetables from the pot. Okay, so save that pot. We're going to come back to it. We are not going to make the roux there. We're going to make it in a clean, dry pot. In a separate skillet or pot, we're going to make the roux. Okay, so you want to heat your pot to medium low. Make sure that it's clean and dry. Add in your two cups of flour. Okay, so we're just gonna take our time here. We're going to stir this flour constantly as the skillet gets hot, the flour is going to turn brown, okay? It's also gonna kick out a nutty aroma. So look for those two signs. You want it to be dark brown and you want to smell that nutty smell, okay? Then you're going to add two cups of canola oil. Okay, so just add that, mix it up just like this. It took 10 minutes for our flour to brown and then we cooked it for an additional five minutes. Yours may take longer. You just want to cook it until it turns dark brown. Okay, and the roux is done. Go take that roux. You are going to add it to that first pot that has all of those good pan drippings in there. Pour the roux inside, okay? And then you're going to add your vegetables that we um, you know, cooked. And you're also going to add the meat to the pot, okay? Mix it together with that roux. And now you're going to add eight cups of low sodium chicken broth, okay? Add that in there, mix it up. So you wanna make sure that your heat is set to um, medium low, okay? Or you can start it out at medium, then turn it down to medium low once it begins to boil. Okay, so I have just added in two tablespoons of chicken bouillon powder and just mixing this up together. So right now, if you taste this, it's not going to taste like anything. You know, we're going to cook this low and slow and give those flavors time to develop. So this was just after 15 minutes of cooking. We've added in one tablespoon of gumbo filet. You don't have to add your gumbo filet so early if you don't want to. We did it and we had no problems with the gumbo, okay? So we're gonna cover this again and we're gonna come back. So here we are about 35 minutes after beginning to cook. We're gonna now add our bay leaves. So we've added all five. I know you see three, but we added five. 
Okay, and we're just going to let this continue to simmer. Okay, so more time has passed right now at this point here. Our gumbo has been cooking for two and a half hours. We are now adding in the frozen okra. We're going to, you know, mix this up. And we're, again, we're going to cover the pot. Okay, so after about five minutes of adding in that okra, we decided to skim off this oil. There was a lot of oil in the gumbo, and this is from that roux. Okay, so we're just going to, you know, get all of this out of the pot. So if you have a lot of oil, just take the time, use a large spoon, and just get it all out. This is how much we collected from the gumbo. So we increase the heat a little bit to get a rapid simmer in the pot. Okay, right now it's been about two hours and 45 minutes of cooking. We added in a little more gumbo filet. Okay, the total amount of gumbo filet that we used was five and three quarter tablespoons. Okay, so we added that to the pot. Okay, and now we're going to add all of the raw shrimp. We reduce the heat down to low covered and let it simmer for 15 minutes. After that time, turn your pot off. Okay, the final step is to remove the bay leaves. So go through that pot and search out those bay leaves, get them out, okay, remove that. So this gumbo is done. From here, it took three hours to make this gumbo. Okay, so this was an easy recipe. It's a, actually, it's a recipe where Although it's easy to put it together, it's just time consuming because you have to you have to just be patient with it. You have to be patient when making your roux. You want to be patient when making your gumbo. You want to cook everything low and slow, okay? So uh, you will have good end results if you just be a little patient. You'll have a nice good pot of gumbo, okay? So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think of this and I hope to catch you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.